Hello everybody, Karen here with Explorminate. Welcome back to episode 3 of this Let's Play series. This is Endless Space 2, and we are playing as the United Empire on hard. So we're going to see how this how this goes. Um, let's move you out. I think we ended this turn in a pretty good place again. We've got our protectors, we've got our foundation we're building. Uh, got a couple more coming along. Oh, look. There's an enemy all the way over there. Well, I imagine there will be a wormhole here, so let's get let's get to this, shall we? I think we have an event coming up. Oh, event plus happiness and plus dust. Why not? We got Rhinos colonized. Excellent. Glad to see that. And who's attacking here? Oh, just my stupid shuttle. He can die. It's fine. And look at that, he's still alive somehow. <laughs> That's fine. So, we colonize this planet. We'll take this planet next because we want the Hyperium coming. And then we'll do our normal, our normal, I guess, build up there. Still building pretty good ships. We want our victory fleet to get built so we can do an early, early attack on these guys, if at all possible. Um, kick off foundation there. I think we're doing good. Where's that? Oh. Well, at least my explorer's going the way I wanted him to. With that. And science will complete here in a turn. What we got. Keep them coming. So one more. Oh, we should actually merge these, probably. My bad. Merge those fleets with our leader. Um, I'll have room for one more, I believe. Long, long, short. Long, medium. No, I wanted these guys to be brawlers, didn't I? So, I'm going to stick with that. Um, up another event, hooray. That's alright, should be too bad. Plus two resource generation. Oh, wait, this came to an end. All right, that's fine. I understand. Our hero did level up, though. So I think we're going to keep with the influence bonus, because that's just a huge, nice boon to everything. So I'm not even going to think about that one too long. Uh, these places, however, though, what do we have here? I don't remember. Did we get the bombardment? Um, module, I don't think we quite did. Oh, no, we did. Colonizer. Colonizer. Your movement point is three by default. How much are you going to cost? That's a lot. Um, I guess that will help siege things a little better. I'm tempted to not put the movement on there. We'll try this though. We'll just call this a bomber. Bomber wing. We're porting in. What would it take for you to build a bomber? About three turns? Seven turns? Okay, well you'll start constructing my bomber fleet because you're you're at the end there. That's where we're going to be. Merge this and wait, who does not have the full movement. Five, 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 five. Is he slow? He better have the movement. He moves four. Oh, he only moves four? That's why. Ugh. Let's upgrade that. No reason to have everybody slow down for him. They've got a long ways to go. So keep on flying. And then... Less research, more science, more dust, and happiness. My science and dust output is actually pretty good here. That's nine turns. Or, in that same point, we could bust out literally another fleet. Let's just bust out another fleet. I think that's going to be more beneficial long term. We discovered Sara. Another dry planet. Let's check it out. 
good, we found something. Send a probe that way, and you fly up there. Bomber's going. I think we're doing pretty good. We're going to be flying into the heart of the enemy here. Let's actually check their ships out. What do they have? They are about 9,000 hits. A lot of projectile. I am about 23,000. Okay. A lot more HP on my end. I'm glad to see that. Let's do a little fight in here. So these guys are primarily bombardment. That's good. So add hull plating. And we'll actually just stick with that because everyone is more effective at short, right? So we'll go ahead and watch it real quick. Why not? The battles are... <laughs> if, uh, I was going to say if nothing else, but there's a, a lot. I like the combat a lot better than the original game. So the original game space. Really slow ships go. Hold the overview camera. So yeah, we're closing in. As are they. They're done for. Let's just. Oh, I said get out of the overview. Oh, perfect. <laughs> he died. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, that took care of that. Head this away. And we'll continue on. So we're just going to be blowing through the turns here as we try to develop the Empire and simultaneously, um, well, beam weapons. Ooh, we might want to upgrade that. Uh, we're going to be blowing through the turns here as we try to get into some, some combat. So we've got our core worlds. I'm not really concerned about that. Um, we've got decent fleet size. We could go bigger. I don't think that's necessarily needed. What do we what do we really need here? Planets. I'm tempted to go for trade commercial framework. Twelve turns. Or we could go something as an bonus type. Projectile damage, energy damage. Ships are mostly energy focused. Mm. Yeah, I really don't know. I think maybe going for the bigger ship would be good, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to need that. Survival suits could be cool. Flotilla shield capacity is pretty nice. That's 12 turns. Let's make sure we focus on the internal empire a bit, I guess, is where we're going to go. So we know Hondra Sterile, resource deposit, and some colonization. Yeah, let's go Let's go trade company, actually. We'll go from there. Move our ships. Really, that's that's the end there. Nope, we, we don't really want you to go that far. What's a mouse? What are we not doing here? Oh, okay. As this colony is developing still. We're colonizing. We're getting some more population. We could grab this for a little extra dust. That's 13 turns, though. So that we could also not grab that. Six turns for some extra production. They're all in the hospital because they're all gas. Oh, no, they're not. There's desert and arid. Okay, never mind. I thought they were all gas planets for some reason. Kind of off there. <laughs> kind of off. Yeah, you got that planet type completely wrong. My bad. Oh, we'll actually be able to engage these guys in our own territory, I think, here pretty soon. We'll see where they go. Nope. You're making this a fuck. Get out of here, Sophons. Just get out. I'm not even going to listen to you. There we have it. There we have it. It's a turn, so we are not that many turns away from just declaring war and destruction, hopefully. Are there any laws we need to do? We have two Kogaros. Okay. 
Well, that's fine. Let them come. I don't don't mind too bad. Oh, someone else got the curiosities. The the great wonders. The great wonders. They're what legendary deeds don't seem that cool. It does seem a little un incomplete to me. I don't know. I don't remember if endless legend was that light with them or not. But I mean, they don't even have cool symbols, so you got that. It's like this is great. I don't want this though. Uh, foods converted to dust, or well, I don't really want converted to dust. We're gonna do trade value, even though that does nothing. I want my populations to keep growing, so we're kind of stuck with that. Keep going. How many turns are we from there? Four turns? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So. Keep focus. We can't neglect the Empire. That's my problem. You guys probably don't have that problem. With 4X games, I'm always like, oh, I just want to get the fight done and, or something like that. And, I don't know. Neglect the Empire. So I can send a hero of at least level 5 on the Naos Post and Oshi systems. That's not happening. Or we can reach approval. Yeah, that will happen. Definitely. And get science. The loss of production yes we're gonna go with extra production because now needs it badly very badly level nine science fleet I'm gonna do this every time we'll go science Forty science is actually pretty good and get you going that way and we'll have this fleet done in just a second. And then they can start moving to the front lines too. We'll just keep everybody moving up. Constant motion. New fleet. Move up here. Forget about you. And then we come back to the same decision. Let's, uh, not a settler. Two escorts and that so we gained control of the collapsing stars we have 50 more influence which is pretty excellent if i may say so myself and we are so close to war this is either going to go just amazing or just terrible there's really no 50 50 here um got no science or anything more per strategic resource that's actually going to be very good yeah, might as well get that and then throw in Xeno Tourism, I guess. Yeah, get some more dust. I mean, it kind of stinks where that planet's stuck where it is, but oh well. Can't do much about it. Okay, move the planets. And our bomber wings need to start heading this way as well so they can show up right away. We'll make sure just to knock that planet out. this goes really well I'm, I'm quite nervous honestly I feel like we should dominate them but at the same time we could I could see us get dominated hopefully I've planned sufficiently that remains to be seen though oh, there is a way for him to go Durka darn it with me so less happiness but more approval more oh forget it up we'll take an uh, influence over approval forget that any poor guy can have approval oh found their home world okay so the purple sofans live there let's move send a probe that way all right what do you have Fallen. this is me oh you're gonna get dominated on Fallen, so I am sorry. But the time for you to fall has come. The Unfallen greet you in the hopes that your goal is greet the heart beats with. Yep, no, we, we we declared complete war on you. I'm sorry, not that sorry, but I'm sorry. So let's go to advance. Let's check them out. So they have a lot of projectile bonuses, which is good because we have some projectile defenses. 
And that's a pretty good setup, actually. Let's go ahead and watch the fight. We'll start charging in, because again, we're pretty short. Brawling type ships, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff flying around space. They have missiles, so I'll need more weapons for that. The just went down. My ships are taking a pretty good thrashing here, though. Their second ship's about to go down here. You can see, yep. Hold the overview. So we are right next to each other. That's terrible for them. They have to be taking a ton of damage. Yep, I don't think they're going to last this long. Another ship there. Let's do this. Boom. Oh, they just saw the guy. <laughs> Times two. There we go. Decisive victory. Yeah, I don't think we even lost a ship. We probably had some damaged guys, but we didn't actually lose a ship, so. Um, let's look at the tab here. Yeah, we did a ton more damage to them, so. Good. Good, good, good. Go back here. They all done got blown up. making the Saphonity nervous. What are you up fleets to? there, purely for training purposes? No, no, not not training purposes, as you can tell. Definitely more than just training purposes. And then they are taking off 70 to turn, so it's going to be a few more turns before we're actually going to do this invasion, probably, but that's okay. I think that's okay. We'll get some more bombers up here, and that will speed it up. Um, let's just cycle through and finish this turn. Oh, this is a massive world, or a massive cluster here. Food, population slot. Let's go here to colonize next, and then maybe uh, we'll grab that afterwards to give our science a bonus, but not too shabby. Uh, that reinforcement's coming in. Let's hit next turn. I think these unfallen are going to be chopped down relatively soon. I think we'll get this. No effect. Okay, we got some more. So some more randos that decided to show up. That's fine. We'll quickly resolve this. They are pure projectile. Projectile blocking. Fight it out. Blow them up. Took them out. Keep the population drained. So I think we'll call it there for now. Um... Thanks for watching. Uh, we got to a battle, so we'll. I'm good. <laughs> I'm <laughs> my uh, lust for war has been um, appeased, so we're gonna focus on that trade company here in a few turns. Um, but I think we should have a pretty interesting game going. Now that we got a battle going, we should be able to keep the war machine rolling. So, thanks for watching. We will. Uh, I'll keep this series up. I'm. I'm still enjoying this game. Uh, so I anticipate finishing this series unless we have some sort of crazy uh, save issue again but I, I don't foresee that so thanks for watching guys keep the comments coming i'm always learning things from you so i appreciate that um there's a lot more to this game than you know even i've got on to with you know 40 50 hours so i appreciate those the suggestions there and uh let me know if there's anything crazy i should try so until next time we'll catch you thanks